Welcome back to the weekly 60 minutes that's exclusively dedicated to the automobile and the oil industry. This is Autofocus, the automobile show. Restoring an old car is hardly ever easy, but the result is always worth it. And as this young man has shown, the best way to preserve a revived classic is by driving it. Rain or shine. It took Paolo Subido two years to revive his father's 1976 Mitsubishi Colt Galant station wagon, and the process wasn't easy. Left in storage for five years, the wagon, which has been with the family since being bought brand new, was in a sad state of disrepair and neglect. Not wanting to let his dad's car be relegated to the junk shop, Paolo decided to get the old car running again and to bring it back to its former glory. This car actually belonged to my father. Um, he drove this car every day from 1976 until the day he passed away in 2003. So, uh, this car really means a lot to me. It was parked in the garage for five years and I kept on telling myself that, man, I'm going to get this restoration started. You know, I, I really want to fix this car up. And um, eventually, finally, I got it running again. It was in really bad shape and I spent maybe two and a half years restoring it and getting it back together and uh, this is the car now. Fixing the car up was a daunting challenge. In fact, this car spent time at three different shops before being completed. I decided to go with the Japanese fender mirrors because uh, when I bought this, this fender is actually like a brand new old stock piece. Here it, and it already had uh, holes for the mirrors. So I decided to go with it. The wheels aren't original, they're aftermarket, but they're um, original NK um, Compa 8s, uh, 14 by 6.5, I think. Um, they're color green. Uh, a lot of people hate the color, but I think it goes really well with my car. If you've been to Baguio, because this is a Baguio car, um, a lot of the houses there, especially the old ones, they're green and white. And green and white works, man. I don't know, I really like it. I'm really maarte when it comes to <laughs> to emblems and keeping the car original and luckily uh, there's some friends from uh, old school enthusiasts and if you just try put a little extra effort in you're gonna find everything that you need. Um, these aren't original uh, weather strips anymore they're replacement ones but sometimes sometimes you can't find some parts and man don't be frustrated I mean I'm sure they'll appear one day but uh, as long as the car is complete and it's not leaking Hey, you know, and you, don't, you don't have to feel so bad about missing a couple of parts. Uh, I managed to find like an original fake, fake wood, but it's an original garnish. It really sets the back off. Um, the daylights, I was really lucky to find yet again. Um, they were broken for a really long time and my, my dad couldn't seem to find them anywhere. But, uh, but when I started the restoration, like, like I said, the, the parts started appearing. The rear bumpers of these Galant wagons are really hard to find because they rust away. Uh, but I was lucky enough to find one from a junk wagon and uh, when I found that piece I was ecstatic because I really really like chrome bumpers. I'm really lucky because uh, my dad never broke any of the plastic bits on the dashboard and whenever um, anyone sees the dash they can appreciate that it's all still in one piece. Um, everything's working. I managed to get the clock working, the speedometer's working, all the gauges work, the interior light works. The only extra modification I have is the fire extinguisher that came from my girlfriend because it's an old car, you never know sighing the money if it bursts into flame, but I don't think that's gonna happen, you know. The seats, I maintain the uh, the original look. I mean, it's the original seat, but they were beaten up, but we fixed them up. Um, my sidings are all still original but they're kind of old and beaten up but I'd rather have an old beaten up siding than a new one that doesn't look right. This is another thing that I love about this wagon. When you're chilling out like in places like UP or up in Baguio in the mountains you can just uh, sit back here and enjoy the view and enjoy the air. Um, yeah wagons are really cool like that. And uh, I have these really big pillows back here and a little basket for keeping your drinks and whatnot. So. Uh, this really is a chill mobile, you know. I kept the engine mostly, well, it's completely, completely stock. Uh, the only modifications that I did were uh, to upgrade my transmission into a five-speed transmission. Um, five-speed comes in really handy when you're traveling long distances, and that's what I do with this car. 
Baguio Manila, Manila Baguio. So it, it, it's really good to have an overdrive so that uh, the engine doesn't have to work so hard. Um, the reason why I'm keeping the engine stock is because I want it to sound exactly the same as it did when my dad was driving this car. Um, it has a very distinct sound to it and uh, I didn't want to change it at all. Um, I remember when I got this car started, after it was uh, parked for five years, um, everyone ran out of the house because they, they recognized that familiar sound. And, uh, this old Galant wagon isn't meant for the car shows, but for being driven. In fact, the main focus was for it to be a reliable daily driver, one that doesn't need to be babied. Rain or shine, this car will go out. I actually drive this car to Baguio, from Manila to Baguio, um, at least once a month, and uh, it hasn't given me any problems, so it's as reliable as ever. In the end, all of the effort was worth it. Paolo has some advice for those who want to restore an old car, a simple guide for beginners like him. Uh, don't be discouraged. Nothing's worse than having a half-restored car that will end up stuck in the shop because of frustration. Um, there were times when I wanted to give up on this car, but I just kept on going. And uh, yeah, just, just keep on going, but be patient and uh, don't let your emotions get the best. The best advice from a vintage car owner is to go out and drive your classic. That is the best way to keep it alive for the years to come. My friends and family from Autofocus for, uh, for having me on this show. I'm really honored and uh, blessed that you guys asked me to like, show my car off. And uh, Sir Butch, Pam Jenny, Matt Maliari, uh, Salamat. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, thank you for uh, spending the morning with me. Spoken like a true auto enthusiast. After all, cars are meant to be driven and the enjoyment comes from being on the road. Why not take your classics out more often? They will thank you for it. Oh, by the way, I have a very special announcement for all those who have show cars or dressed up or customized cars and would like to show them to the public. We'll have them part of the Autofocus Motor Show and Auto Expo scheduled on November 10 to November 13 at the SM Mall of Asia. For more details, check out our Autofocus site at the Facebook. And that's our show for this week. We hope you found it informative as well as entertaining. Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show and Television, shall again be back here next week with the latest about the automobile and the auto industry. Until then, this has been your host, Ray Butch Gamble. BMW Car Club of the Philippines brings you BimmerFest 2011. Exhibits, entertainment, a fashion show, and special surprises await you. This is also the biggest sign-up venue for all BMW car owners who want to join the club. This event is powered by... Be there!